हेलो एवरीवन टुडे वी विल बी सॉल्विंग इलेक्ट्रिकल इंजीनियरिंग गेट क्वेश्चन व्हिच केम इन 2016 सेट 1 क्वेश्चन नंबर 1 दिस क्वेश्चन इज अ मैथमेटिकल क्वेश्चन सो द क्वेश्चन स्टेट्स दैट द मैक्सिमम वैल्यू अटेन बाय द फंक्शन fx is equals to x into x minus 1 into x minus 2 in the interval 1 comma 2 is dash so for this question you can refer nptel course titled basic calculus 1 and 2 lecture number 11 from professor parasar mohanty iit kanpur so before solving the question let's understand what the question is so the question is fx is equals to x into x minus 1 into x minus 2 here it is asked what will be the maximum value for the interval 1 comma 2 so from 1 comma 2 what will be the maximum value is asked okay so to solve this question let's first expand fx fx will be x into x minus 1 into x minus 2 it will be x cube minus 3x square plus 2x so to solve this question we will first differentiate fx when we differentiate this x fx we are getting 3x square minus 6x plus 2 now let's equate this equation to zero to find out the value of x here we got 1 plus minus 1 upon root 3 so here we know that x is equals to 1 minus 1 upon root 3 is less than 1 and so it does not come in the interval of 1 comma 2 so we won't take x is equals to 1 minus 1 by root 3 for x is equals to 1 plus 1 by root 3 it comes it is greater than 1 and it comes under the interval of 1 comma 2 so at x is equals to 1 plus 1 by root 3 let's find out the double differential of fx so the double differential of fx will be since f dx x is 3x square minus 6x plus 2 double differential of fx will be 6x minus 6 now by putting the value of x is equals to 1 plus 1 by root 3 we can find out the point of minima and maxima so we know that this we know this condition that if at x is equals to this point at x is equals to x plus 1 by root 3 if f of double x is less than 0 then the point will be maxima and if f double dx x is greater than 0 then it will be the point of minima so f of double x at x is equals to 1 plus 1 upon root 3 we get 6 into 1 plus 1 upon root 3 minus 6 so this is clearly greater than 0 so this means at x is equals to 1 plus 1 by root 3 it is a minima so for this function if we plot the graph it will be something like this why i am saying this because we have already found out that from interval 1 to 2 there will be a minima only one minima will be there and it will be at 1 plus 1 by root 3 isn't it now we know that fx is equals to x minus 1 into x minus 2 into x so x at 0 is a 0 at x is equals to 1 it's again a 0 at x is equals to 2 it is again a 
So, and we have already found out that at x is equals to one plus one upon root three, it is a minima. So, for the interval one comma two, f x is only negative. So, the maximum value in this interval from one to two will be zero, isn't it? So that will be your answer. So here you can write a zero.